réalité, il dispute pour où est là, pour qu'on rêve de qui est en Uganda, pour qu'on soit mordé par le brutal dictateur de l'Uganda. Ce qu'il y a dans le pouvoir ne peut pas être appelé démocratie. Dans le UK, nous avons changé les premiers ministres. Dans le Uganda, nous vivons sous le même brutal dictateur. What are years of brutality? What are years of torture? What are years of rape? What are years of murder? People power. Our power. And you pay. Everywhere. We we'll highlight the human rights abuses in Uganda. Thank you for listening.
to commit these atrocities. It is funding the training of the so-called soldiers who are after a terrorist. They've been terrorizing people in Congo. They've been terrorizing African in, in Somalia. They are terrorizing Ugandans. And we are here to inform the international community that there is no BBC in Uganda. There is no CNN in Uganda. There is no Al Jazeera in Uganda. There is no APC News in Uganda. Everything is on social media. And the dictator is committing silent genocide. Recently, the UK government funded the dictatorship that stole power in 2021. Funded claiming they are fighting M4. This M4 has not killed even a small heap of Ugandans. But the dictatorship that continues to abuse human rights has killed over 20 million Ugandans. The Empox is not a threat to Ugandans, but the UK government is very keen to give the money which is used in corruption, claiming they are fighting Empox. We are here to alert the taxpayers in the UK that if you don't put pressure on your MPs, on your government, that money we are paying in taxes is being used to commit crimes against humanity. That money is being used to prevent democracy. That money is being used to commit genocide. The same thing, the same issue that has been going on in Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu has been has been mentioned by the ICC recently. And now we also question ICC double standard. Benjamin Netanyahu just started committing these atrocities recently and he's already been mentioned. He's got an arrest warrant. Why is it that Uganda dictator who has been in power for 40 years has never been indicted, has never got an arrest warrant? And he continues to enjoy impunity on the UK taxpayers' money. Who we are here to remember this this man, who the people who have lost their life during World War I in November, also in November 2020, remembering our brothers and sisters who are unarmed and who are killed by the military, military goods. Who's up there? Who's in the fourth? Is paid by taxpayers' money. We are here to challenge the double standard and the hypocrisy of the UK government, funding and supporting anti-democratic governments all over the world, and the countries all over the world like Israel, which is committing atrocities and keeping silent about those atrocities. We are here to challenge. We told taxpayers that the UK government, the people who are in power, the people we voted, we need to challenge them for their double standard and we need us for accountability. People power, our power. 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 MUP, we are fighting for freedom. Malabamba, UK. We are fighting for freedom. Bana Uganda, Muriwa. UK, Paris, Bala, Kampala. We are fighting for freedom. People, power. Our power. Thank you, peace. Everyone. Thank you very much. Uganda, but the brutal dictator of Uganda, 
occupy this building here behind us. The mother in Uganda is being represented by the building behind us. The CPP of Uganda from Delhi Bases is being represented by this building behind us. We want you to know that your money and my money, the taxpayers' money, goes to Uganda to fund our torture, to fund our murder, to fund our kidnapping. That's why we are here. Call on the UK government to stand with the 47 million Ugandans in removing the brutal dictator of the seven of Uganda. What they have in power is more than enough. What they have of torture in Uganda is beyond. What they have of murder in Uganda is beyond. You're talking about a man, a dictator, a junta who has murdered over three million Ugandans. Some of you, you are not old enough to hear about the name Igami. He was one of the dictators whom they condemned to have killed 70,000 Ugandans that time. That was 1978. Today, we have a brutal dictator by the name of Museve who has killed more than 3 million Ugandans. We don't hear a word of condemnation from the UK government, from Europe and America. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. It's only in Uganda where we don't have schools, where we don't have hospitals. But the government is building prisons being financed by the UK government. It's only in Uganda where Uganda cannot afford a one pound per and where the future and his family, they want treatment, they fly to the UK and they are treated in St. Thomas Hospital. Medical tourism at the highest level. But it's the same government, it's the same junta who has destroyed our health service in Uganda. It's the same junta who has destroyed Uganda. People power. Our power. Our power. Everywhere, we'll be here.